Hi, I'm Kevin Khabitzak with Inuit Tepere Kanatami's Communications Department. I'm here with Martin Mahid. Hi, Welcome. Kevin. He's a project coordinator at ITK's Inuit Kawi Salbingat, the Inuit Always Center. Um, this department is relatively new to ITK, and uh, they've already done some really interesting projects, which Martin is going to tell us about. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to ask you about what um, Inuit Kawi Salbingat and its role is. Yeah, um, Inuit Kaui Serving at is the research department here at uh, ITK. Really focused on bridging the gap between Inuit knowledge and the Western form of research. But also one of our goals is to help support building capacity for Inuit to engage in research and, and global Arctic issues. Mm -hmm, excellent. And what projects have you done in your position as a project coordinator so far? Well, one of the projects that I've been working on is a report that looked at the literature on climate change in Inuit Nunangat. It's called What We Know, Don't Know, and Need to Know About Climate Change in Inuit Nunangat. And Inuit Nunangat means the Inuit homelands. It sounds really interesting. What did you find while working on this report? Well, the report provides a, a picture of what's currently published on climate change impacts in the Arctic. Um, it looks at the social, health, and also biophysical sciences to really get that whole picture. And it breaks down the, the findings into sectors like health and subsistence hunting and culture and education, those type of things. So one of the most interesting things also is that the key findings and the report itself is broken down into the different Inuit regions. So it talks about specifically Nunavut, Nunavik, Nunatsuvut, and brings in elements from the Inuvialuit settlement region. And who else worked with you on this project? Um, the project was produced with funding from the Aboriginal Affairs and Northern Development of Canada. And it was produced in collaboration with the McGill University and then the Nunavut Research Institute with also input from the National Inuit Climate Change Committee. Mm -hmm. Is it available in other languages? Yeah, actually the full report itself is only in English, but the entire executive summary mm -hmm. and all the key findings have been translated into French and looked into it both in Roman orthography and syllabics. Mm -hmm. And, and how and where is this report available to anyone interested? The report is available for free online for download at the Inuit Knowledge Center's website, inuitknowledge.ca, or you can stop by ITK's offices and come talk to us about it. And the contact information is in the report. Perfect. Do you have anything else planned for this project? Yeah, actually, this report has kind of spawned the need for a look at more of the Inuit-specific information outside of the academic, peer-reviewed literature. So looking at the gray literature about what Inuit's perspective of climate change really is. Mm -hmm. Are there any other projects or activities happening at Inuit Kai For sure. Just last year we launched Nasauti, which is um, in the Inuit language means numbers, and it helps to promote Inuit statistics and make them available and accessible. And we also have an awesome online contaminants course called Nihi, which is food in English. And it's really a lesson to teach about the role of contaminants in food, especially in the Arctic. Perfect, Martin. Thanks so much for speaking with me. Ah, thank you, Kevin. And as Mark, Martin mentioned, if you'd like a copy of the report uh, that he just talked about, go to inuitknowledge.ca and download your free copy. And that's it for now. I'm Kevin Kablitza. Thanks for joining us.